Hola, bienvenidos a Satchel Classes. Soy Mr. Castrillon and I would like to welcome you to another session on Satchel Classes. Today's topic, en forma el condicional en presente. Today's topic is really important because we are going to actually learn what we call a higher level structure. Conditional sentences in Spanish as well as in English, they require a lot of vocabulary as well as really good knowledge of verbs and all the words. So today's lesson should be a very good one for all of us to learn. Of course, it's a year nine lesson, but if you're a year seven or year eight or even year 10 or 11, you're more than welcome to watch the, the whole lesson and learn and revise some really important structures. So let's start with our targets today. Hoy vamos a repasar vocabulario sobre la salud para estar en forma. También vamos a aprender el condicional en tiempo presente. Vamos a traducir oraciones condicionales y vamos a emparejar frases para crear oraciones condicionales. Well, plenty to do today. So let's start with the first activity of the day. ¿Cómo se dice en español? So here I have a list of words that are used uh, when talking about healthy living. A balanced diet, early, fit, health, healthy, healthy food, late, mental health, physical exercise, and stress. What we are going to do is we are, we are going to match these words with their counterparts in Spanish. So I'm going to give you three minutes to try and find out the right translation for each one of the ones uh, in English. By the way, feel free to use your dictionary. Three minutes and the time is running down. Go for it. Time is up. How did it go? Let's see how these words match up. The first one is una dieta equilibrada. Early means, or is uh, you say temprano. Fit en forma. 
Health is salud. Healthy is saludable, sano o sana. Healthy food is comida saludable. Late is tarde. Mental health is salud mental. Physical exercise is ejercicio físico. And finally, stress. Stress is el estrés. So we're going to match some of these sentences. So I'm going to show you a list of different things that we need to do in order to be healthy. And we have, debo hacer bastante, tengo que mantenerme, tengo que cuidar mí, tengo que acostarme, no debo levantarme, debo mantener, tengo que evitar, debo consumir y tengo que vivir una rutina. Now, debo, tengo que mean I have to or I must. So that's how we say I must or I have to in Spanish. And I have these here, which are the ones that we had from the previous slides, from the previous exercise. So what we are going to do is we're going to match the blue ones to the red ones, one each. So for instance, the first one would be, debo hacer bastante ejercicio físico. Off you go. Time is up. Now let's look at the answers. Debo hacer bastante ejercicio físico. Tengo que mantenerme en forma. Tengo que cuidar mi salud o tengo que cuidar mi salud mental. Tengo que acostarme temprano. No debo levantarme tarde. Debo mantener una dieta equilibrada. Tengo que evitar el estrés. Debo consumir comida saludable. Tengo que vivir una rutina sana o saludable. So all of these are things that we need to do or we have to do in order to be or have a healthy lifestyle. Now then, today we are going to learn the El Condicional. Now, if we want to form this structure, we need three elements. The first one is C, which is the equivalent to if in English. Then we need to say what we want to be or do. 
So say for instance, in this case, I say, if I want to lose weight, and of course, in order to do so, we require to do something else. Like in this case, I have to eat healthy food. So we need three elements in order to form a condition, conditional sentence in Spanish. Bear in mind, this is simple present conditional. We have other types of conditionals, conditional sentences, but they usually are the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to translate a group of sentences that I have here on my right. Now, I am helping you a little bit with some uh, sentences in already phrases in Spanish, which are the ones we saw earlier. But I'm also going to give you want and have to in green. And also quiero, which is I want. I'm going to give you four minutes to try and answer as many as you can. By the way, five, six and seven are a bit more challenging because you will have to fill in those gaps. So off you go. Four minutes. Remember that you're more than welcome to come back to these videos, watch them again, take a picture a screenshot of the display. And of course, feel free to ask your teachers or students who are in higher years. The more you practice, the better for you. And these exercises are very similar to what you will have to deal with in your exam. Well, let's see what they translate to. Uno, si quiero mantenerme en forma, 
tengo que mantener una dieta equilibrada. 2. Si quiero vivir una vida saludable, debo hacer mucho ejercicio físico. 3. Si quiero cuidar mi salud mental, tengo que evitar el estrés. 4. Si quiero mantener una dieta equilibrada, tengo que comer o consumir alimentos saludables o comida saludable. Número 5. Number 5 is interesting because we have a gap. So we can choose whatever we want as long as it makes sense. Now, it says I have to go to bed early, which means tengo que acostarme temprano. So I could say, si quiero mantenerme en forma, tengo que acostarme temprano. Number six and seven. I'm going to leave those ones to you so you can actually do them at home. Remember, feel free to come back and watch the video again. Pause, take a picture of it, and practice. And ask your teacher to help you out if you're struggling a little bit. Finally, we are going to do our GCSE challenge. We have three people here. They all have different opinions. I'm going to read each one of those. Ayer fui al doctor y tengo que seguir sus consejos. Si quiero bajar de peso, tengo que mantener una dieta equilibrada. Las Lucas. María says, mi madre me dice todos los días que si quiero cuidar mi salud, en general, debo acostarme temprano y evitar el estrés. And Miguel says, mi profesora de educación física me ha dicho que si quiero evitar el estrés, tengo que hacer bastante ejercicio físico y vivir una rutina sana. Now, the question is, who has to do a lot of exercise according to their, um, according to what they say. Well, that'll be Lucas. Oh, hold on. No, actually, that is, um, I'm just trying to find it. Uh, yeah, that's Miguel. He says, quiero evitar el estrés. Tengo que hacer bastante ejercicio físico. That's Miguel. What does Lucas have to do? Well, he has to keep a balanced diet. Always look at those very similar words to the English ones. They are called false friends or they are like a cognates and they are actually very helpful sometimes. What does Maria have to do according to her mother? Well, she has to do two things. First, go to bed early. And second, avoid the stress. Who wants to avoid being stressed out? Miguel again, he says, que si quiero evitar el estrés. Muy bien. Today we learned the conditional sentence. Remember, you just need three things. Si, quiero, and what you have to do. We revise words related to being healthy, like saludable, sano, comida sana, and so on. We also match, we match phrases in order to form conditional sentences. We translated conditional sentences as well. And finally, we completed the GCSE challenge. I hope that today's lesson has been very helpful and that you have managed to understand the structure that we use for uh, conditional sentences. I would like to wish you a very good day and I hope you, I'll see you soon. Muchas gracias y hasta muy pronto.